Hey, what's happening on YouTube? Boy, the temperatures have been hot this month of August. Just basically starting out the month with pretty much 100 degree temperatures. But the grass has been growing pretty well. I've been not been having any issues with heat stress. So I think all the products that I've laid this year have been pretty much helping me out. But one problem I am facing right now is that the grass is starting to get extremely thick. Now when I mow, it's starting to, my lawnmower is starting to float. So when I'm going down my lines, my stripes, it's starting to kind of do a little wave zigzag pattern. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let me switch the camera. But there are a bit some waves on the stripe section going down this path. Because it's definitely thick when I'm going up and down over here. So I got two options. I can either scalp the lawn, which is not preferred by me because I don't have to take it down pretty low. I'm currently cutting at 0.7 inches, but if I take it down to like 3 eighths, which is the lowest uh, I could probably take it to with the, the bed knife that I got now, um, it would take roughly around two weeks or so for the recovery. So you're stuck with a kind of an ugly lawn for a few weeks. But then the other option is to verticut. So essentially with verticutting, it's basically vertical blades rather than the reel that's cutting. You're cutting into the stolons of the grass, so and it's also cleaning up the debris, any thatch that you potentially may have at the at the base layer of your of your yard. And you clean that up with a, a real mower or whatever mower you have. And basically helps promote new growth in your lawn and then also helps uh, actually makes the stripes stand out a lot more because you're getting rid of some of the old dead material that's in your yard. So then I started thinking about what are my options, right? Do I go rent a verticutter? Uh, do I go buy a verticutter? And there's not very many options out there as far as trying to find a verticutter machine for rent. Um, there are like deep thatchers and scarifiers and things like that, but I actually wanted a true verticutter machine. So then I started looking into, well, what about those mowers that have cartridge systems? I looked into the Swordman, very expensive machine. And then I also looked into the, uh, the Allet, which is also another expensive machine but today what I am trying to discuss with you is there is a mower out there that just recently came out the California trimmer catalyst and it is a cartridge system that has a verticutter as an option so I did manage to get my hands on it I was searching around to see if anyone had it and there happened to be a guy local that's actually selling it and he let me go test drive the machine so I got a video of that so let's switch over and take a look at it Alrighty, you're taking a look at the brand new California Trimmer Catalyst. This is a 20 inch model. It actually looks pretty good. I've only seen it on the internet, but after seeing it in person, it's definitely an eye catching machine. Um, I did get the chance to talk to Nick Berry, who is the authorized dealer for California Trimmer in our area, and he did mention that this machine is actually a Cobra Forces from the UK, I believe. I think in the UK there's a lot of popularity as far as cartridge systems. So yeah, this mower here is also one of those that have a cartridge system on it. So I know there's videos out there already that talk about the basics of the California Trimmers. So I wanted to focus more on the verticutter um, since that's what we're talking about in this video. So when I came to Nick, I told him, hey, uh, we want to go ahead and film the verticutter. So, he went ahead and just set that up and had that already in there in the mower. And FYI, um, the verticutting cutting that you're going to see in the video isn't what you would see in a standard verticutting cutting scenario. Um, he is dealing with Bermuda mites, so he scalped his lawn and then he's going to verticut cut it pretty, pretty aggressively. And then he's going to do another uh, scalp again and clean, clean it all up. And he also has contos as well that he is going to spray afterwards so what you guys are going to see in the video is a very aggressive version of verticutting um, normally you wouldn't be doing it this aggressive because all you're really trying to do is just maybe cut maybe a quarter inch or slightly a little bit more uh, into the surface of the grass but what we're doing here is he's basically taking it down nearly to dirt Right off the bat when I saw him take this machine out on his lawn, I was 
pretty impressed with how much debris it could pick up. Uh, given that this machine is actually a belt driven machine, with no chains uh, like the Rolex or the Rev 26. So that's a personal preference to some of you guys because it is much easier to replace than a chain would. So there are pros and cons to every machine on the way they are built. Okay, so I get a chance to try it out, and for me, it felt a little bit uncomfortable because the handlebars are so upright, but Nick did reassure me that they are adjustable, so you can bring them down a bit. I'm just a short guy being at 5'8", and I believe Nick is like 6'4", so um, preference for taller guys, I think you come with that. Um, for the shorter guys, definitely need to be able to adjust the handlebars and make it uh, more flat. So Nick has a neighbor that's superintendent for a golf course and he mentions a technique where you go in a swirl in order to get rid of the thickness of the lawn. Um, vertic cutting in a swirl will get a lot of the thatch out and you won't have further issues in the season from having such a thick lawn and it gets it very thin. So this is what he's demonstrating right now on his lawn. So we just got done with the verticutting. Looks like it took off a lot of material. I think it did a very, very good job. The thing with the blades here, it's like it's cutting into the stolons of the grass. This time of the season in Texas, you know, a lot of mowers are floating right now. People are complaining about getting uneven cuts and things like that. Well, the solution is to get a verticutter. And this is basically a residential real mower right now that's gonna provide you that option. In just a matter of weeks, maybe a week or two, uh, this, this whole yard's just gonna recuperate and it's gonna look badass. And uh, let's go ahead and find out how to switch out the cartridge. So well, I'm going to take it over to Nick. He's gonna, we're going to pull it over into his garage, and then he's going to show us how to uh, switch this out. So now that we've made a big mess in the front yard, now we get to come over here and do the cleanup part. Part of that is switching back over to our real cartridge. The first thing you're going to do is remove these two screws from this outside cover. We'll just sit it right there. We're going to take the belt off of that pulley system right there. That way we can drop the belt over here out of the way. Just move it out of the way. And then after you remove those two, we've got three other um, machine bolts, if you will. What's the size of this nut here? Um, this one is a 13 millimeter. 13 millimeter? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to move Slide that out. Take our cartridge. See this slot right here? That's where we're missing at. You see that? Okay. So that groove 
supposed to sit on the inside of that sleeve. Does that make uh, sense? Okay. So that's where we're missing it. Okay. There we go. So what Nick was explaining is that the cartridge needs to slide in smoothly uh, into the slot on the side of this mower housing. For first time users, this might not seem intuitive because the cartridge must fit perfectly into that section. Similar to how a key fits into a keyhole, um, this precise fit ensures that the cartridge will sit securely into the mower, so it gives you a peace of mind knowing that it won't fall out or become loose while you're using the machine. All right, we just got done uh, changing out the cartridge. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a cleanup. Uh, obviously, we got a lot of lot of uh, thatch and uh, debris to clean up with, so we're gonna put the grass catcher on, and then we're just gonna use the reel to clean it up. Yeah, so we got Russell here now, just doing a cleanup. Basically, just we put the reel back on to the mower, and just cleaning up the debris from the verticut. Pretty straightforward switch, I would say, uh, to have this cartridge system. I think it's a viable option for those out there who are needing to do more than just real mow. All right, guys, if you all enjoyed the video of the CT Catalyst, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and more content will be coming your way. I'll leave uh, Nick's contact information in the description below in case you guys are interested in purchasing more or trying it out, and uh, he'll be in touch with you. As for me, I'm not quite ready to make a purchase on that machine yet. Uh, I am doing a little scalp, as you can see here. Working on just having an ugly lawn for the time being and uh, maybe next year we'll have a verticutter in the plans but as for now peace out guys and happy mowing mm -hmm.